we're going to be taking a look at a term that is becoming more prevalent in IT today, data lake. What is a data lake and what does it mean to you? EMC defines a data lake by five major principles. These principles can be easily remembered with the acronym ISASA. ISASA stands for ingest, store, analyze, surface, and act. Without the ability to support these functions, there is no data lake strategy. Let's break down each of these principles to understand them better. Ingest. This is the ability to collect all the data you care about, making sure your systems can correctly and frequently ingest that data through APIs or batch processes will increase the capabilities of your data lake. Store. Getting all the data in one place and breaking down silos is the first and most important step. It is also more functional if you can provide scalable storage and multi-protocol access to all of that data. Some examples are NFS, SIFS, FTP, and newer file systems like HDFS. Analyze. Matching the correct data points can be a work of art. Having the correct systems and the correct talent is key to finding the relations between all the data you're gathering. Surface. There needs to be a simple method of displaying all of the analysis. The data needs to be understood, and the easier it is to see the results of the analysis, the easier it is to take action. Act. Simply put, this is the four M's. Make me more money. A plan has to be put into place to take the results of the data analysis and fit it into an operating business model. Let's take a look at a real world scenario. We'll study a casino and see how a data lake can benefit their organization. A data lake is useless unless you understand the desired results. First, we need to determine business objectives. Second, collect the appropriate data to help obtain that business objective. And third, identify what success looks like. Our casino's business objective is to improve their customer experience. The data lake will help them target the correct customer, and success will be measured by an increase in customer visits. The casino has already started a big data initiative and is successfully ingesting various data sets. Based on our business objective of a better customer experience, let's add more data sets and due to a lack of success in the past, ignore others for now. The casino has invested in infrastructure and changed internal policies to allow all data to reside in a single place. Doing this allows them to combine multiple data sets to later be analyzed. Take a look at all the insights we can gain from the data gathered. Now the casino can use the data they've collected to help better understand two of their customers, Tom and Frank. Previously, the casino only knew the number of visits each made and the amount of money they spent each visit. With the new data sets, the casino is able to gather far more detail about their customers. Look at how frequently Frank visits their golf course. This data was never analyzed previously when the casino would target customers for player compensation plans. Using specialized software, the casino can now chart out the value of each data set. Based on this graph, it is easy to see that Frank should be a highly valued customer. However, he was unfortunately neglected in the past. Being able to visualize the data helps the casino target the correct customer. Knowing who they would like to target is only the beginning. Now the casino needs to take action. They need to find a way to entice Frank to visit their establishment more frequently. A possible strategy would be to design an app for their casino floor employees that would notify them that Frank had used his player card. They could be notified of his location and would also be notified of a specific promotion he would be interested in. Maybe a free round of golf for playing a new game on the floor.